The single most determining factor of the quality of your life is predicated upon your mindset. The easiest thing I do every year, ladies and gentlemen, is earn millions of dollars. That's the easy part. Speaking of corporations, that was easy to do. Let me tell you what it took me years to do was to believe that I could do it. That's the biggest thing that you will have to overcome. I would go see these various speakers and I would sit back and watch them. And I would start going to the car, be fired up. I said, I could do that. And my mind then would say, Les Brown, you can't do that. You don't have a college education. Les Brown, you can't do that. You've never worked for a major corporation. Les Brown, you can't do that. You've never had any experience doing things like this before. You don't know the right people. You don't have the complexion of connection. Why would someone hire you? Why would someone hire you to teach them and to motivate them to do something that you have never done? Be practical. Be realistic. Be logical. It can't be done. You have no credentials. And so based upon that, I didn't even attempt to do it. I held myself back. My Angelo said that most people go so far in life and then they park. They take some hits. They have some failures. They have some disappointments. And they stop dead in their tracks. I went through a divorce from someone that I love very much. I was embarrassed. Boom. My mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. I was hurt. Boom. My best friend was diagnosed with cancer of the liver. Boom. I took a hit. I was diagnosed nine years ago with prostate cancer and given two to three years to live. Boom. I took a hit. I popped. I took so many hits. Perhaps that's what Bigger Thomas said. The impulse to dream has been slowly beaten out of me through the experiences of life. I wasn't even dreaming anymore. I didn't even know where I was. You'll think, this is it for you. And other people will think you're done too. They'll be telling you to give up. And people you thought that would support you will turn against you. They'll criticize you. They'll tear you down. Your life will be full of darkness and you won't see a way out. But when you're down in that hole, I want you to remember something. The only person who can save you is you. Your job in this moment is to muster up enough strength to push yourself back out of your negative pattern of thinking and into the arena of life once again. If you spend 30 minutes thinking about the fact you can't do something, I need you to spend an hour dreaming about the fact that you can. What's the worst thing that can happen if I decide to take a chance on me? People laugh at me, I lose all my money, so I can come back again. See, my wealth is not determined based upon what I have, my wealth is determined based upon who I am. That's why I want you to increase your goals dramatically. And I don't want you to ask yourself how you're going to do it, how is none of your business. There's a reason we're told to walk by faith and not by sight. The reason we're told to call forth those things and be not as though they were. You have power in you that you don't even know. You want to develop an ongoing strategy, a plan of action of self-empowerment. So you've got to listen to music and speeches that can uplift you. Read books to strengthen your thoughts. Watch movies that fire you up because you're going to constantly have low moments where you won't want to keep going. You'll want to just fall apart. So you've got to control what you let in your mind and reprogram it with positivity. If you don't program your mind, life will program you. Monitor your self-talk and realize that you're more than able. You were born for this, that you have the power within you to live your dream. And as you read and feed your mind with the pictures and the dreams and the words that empower you, it does something to you, it stimulates you, it inspires you. And you say, hey, I can do it too. And you'll find yourself being competent. Let that drive you to make sure you do your homework, to work hard at developing technical mastery, of covering all of your bases, so that whatever comes, you can handle it. If you listen to what everybody else is saying, if you judge according to appearances, then you will find yourself constantly being negative. But you want to go to the other end of the spectrum. You want to know some way, somehow, things are going to get better. How? I don't know, and I don't have to know. I just have to have faith and believe that everything's gonna be all right. All I need to do is to know it, to expect it, and to keep on doing what I can, where I am, with what I've got right now. Start planning and preparing for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. 
If you want to come out here and reach your goals and make your dreams come true, you don't want to do it by dragging and doing it casually. No, you want to begin to put out more energy and more effort than ever before. You've got to become unstoppable because there'll be many things to turn you around. You've got to think constantly on why you're doing it. What are the rewards? What's there for you across the goal line? What are the things that'll make it worth it for you? My life is worthwhile. Doesn't matter what I've experienced. Doesn't matter about what I don't have. Doesn't doesn't matter about what I've gone through. What's important is that where I am right now, that I live life and I experience my life fully. And you owe it to yourself. So when you get up in the morning, that you can look yourself in the face and say, hey, I'm living my life on my terms. Do you know how many people have had visions, ideas, and huge career moves that they're about to make? And they allowed the word no stop them when you make the decision to do what you want to do with your life just know this because the family and the friends in your life do not share your vision in most cases they will be the first person to try and talk you out of what you want to do with your life but know this only those that can see the invisible can do the impossible people that don't have any dreams for themselves they tend to be dream killers. They'll laugh at you. They'll call you names because they have no dreams. They don't want it. Most people go through life holding back. If you get into the habit of just being mediocre, it will become a part of your consciousness. If you get in the habit of giving less than what you have it within you to give, it will begin to reflect itself in your personality. It will begin to damage you psychologically. And you don't want to be a part of that kind of self-destructive behavior. You want to set some high standards for yourself. There's greatness in you. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will. And I'm not going to let anything stop me. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas. Never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas. And understand that for every level, there's another devil. It is the devil's job to create challenges, issues, and conflicts, insecurities, fear, because he wants to put you to a test. But I can tell you now, I pick the devil off every day because I just don't stop. And the devil is so mad. It's God. It doesn't matter if he gets sick. It doesn't matter what happens to his money or his finances. Every time he gets out of his bed and he's on a mission to get it done. And as you begin to look at your life, decide that you're going to start working on that dream. You're going to work and nurture that idea. Now, there will be people that will criticize you. There will be people that won't see it for you. But I say to you, don't let nobody turn you around. You don't need anybody to understand it. You don't need anybody to approve you. You don't need anybody to say, go ahead on and do it. If you get that, that's fantastic. But I say stand up within yourself boldly and say, this is my life. I'm controlling my destiny. We all get knocked down in every aspect of life. You're going to fall flat on your face. You're going to be criticized when you come out into the arena called life. You're going to feel awkward and stupid and dumb sometimes. But it's okay. It goes with the territory. You got to get messed up sometimes. You got to get dirty. You got to get your feelings hurt. You got to get disappointed. You got to get told no. You go ask somebody for some money. He going to tell you no. That's just dirt. See, you get tripped out because you got dirt on you. But you need dirt on you to develop. Because dirt ain't just dirt. Dirt is fertilizer. Dirt is nutrients. Dirt gives you the strength for your seed to push through. See, you gotta have dirt on you to push through something. Everything you see that's beautiful starts out as a seed, but that seed got to get dirt on it. See, you get mad when haters come your way. You get mad cause you get a setback. You get mad cause you get thrown off course. You get mad cause you get a detour. That's just dirt. You get mad cause they talking about you. That's dirt. You get mad because you, you lost your mama. That's dirt. But show me something that has grown into something beautiful that didn't have no dirt on it. 
You got to have dirt on you to grow into what God got for you. And maybe you've been knocked down in your life and it seems like, hey, the fight is over. It is not over unless you quit. You have to learn to turn and look at every obstacle as an opportunity. You got to get gritty, man. You got to develop some dog in you. Life is going to throw some serious blows, some body blows, and they go hurt. But I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's going to take its place? Success. No pain, no gain. Pain has a purpose. Don't go through it, grow through it. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize. I challenge you to push yourself. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, doors start opening, opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. Champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. When they don't have no more, when it's over, when they're tired, when they're frustrated, when they're ready to give up, when they spent their last dime, that's when they get started. It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money, when all your energy gone, when you have nothing left, that's when it's showtime. When you find a way out of no way, when you find breath that you don't have, when you find energy that did not exist, when you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you find a way. I wish I could tell you it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, the weight is going to get lighter. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is you got to find something within. You got to find something within, and that's got to push you, and that's got to elevate you, and that's got to drive you, and that's got to move you. And when you find out what your why is, you don't hit snooze no more. When you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. I challenge you to never give up. Never give up. You're going to be here one day, but you'll never get here if you give up, if you give in, if you quit. And finally, guys, you got to want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe.